Okay, so someone asked me a question on uh, suffering, uh, fear, and financial thoughts and fear. So um, what I recommend with that is a two-pronged approach. Being able to, I have videos on my YouTube channel, Feel the Feelings. If you put Feel the Feelings to be a Muslim, you'll see these videos. But um, so you just uh, welcome the fear and then stop labeling thoughts. Try not to identify with any thoughts or any thinking. Like I haven't got enough money, I can't pay the mortgage. Disidentify from that thought as soon as it arises or any thought and just be with the fear and just let it, uh, let it dissolve. Then um, you know, can pray to the Holy Spirit to be intuitively guided on all your belief systems and thoughts and limitations around money to be, um, to be brought to your awareness, like um, money's a struggle, I haven't got enough money, I need more money, money will make me happy, um, whatever it is. So you can, can, you can cancel all of those. I cancel my belief I'm an infinite being. If you intuit their heavy belief systems, keep cancelling every day, maybe 100 or 200 times a day, uh, until it seems you can't even remember that thought and it doesn't arise in your consciousness. That means you've totally deleted it. Some of them can be heavy and just require a lot of cancelling. And then set out, feel the fear out. This will increase your level of consciousness and, um, your, and your capacity for limitless uh, abundance once you've dissolved those things that block that, the experience of that. Um, so uh, cancel the thoughts, sit with the fears. Also, f um, you can expect a uh, karmic interaction. So if someone's demanding money from you or, or whoever it is, or an institution, whatever it is, just uh, you can guess that maybe in this lifetime or past lifetime, you've done that in some way to others. So you can pray for the forgiveness for the one in me who's put financial pressure on others who are suffering. Pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's caused pain to others. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's been a, uh, what do you call them, debt collector and caused pain to others in this lifetime and past lives. Whatever you, the intuition comes of how the thing that's befalling you uh, seems unfair, you probably did it to others in this or a past lifetime. So you can use Hawkins' anti-karma prayer. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's done this to others in this lifetime and past lifetimes. So I'd keep doing all of that work um, until you, um, the, the fearful thoughts, the fearful experiences, the fearful people around money and your fe fearful thinking around money disappears, uh, the thoughts and the feelings. And I uh, wish you, wish you um, God's abundance after all that's, uh, all that's removed. Okay, thank you.